Hey y'all, it's Shannon and welcome back to my channel. He want me to hit him first. Hmm, that a happen when he in a hearse. Hey, I drop a pick on the gram. Hey, now he come with the thirst. Click, click, close. Oh. Hey y'all, it's me back again. So as you can tell by the title, today is a wig install glueless frontal install video yes we are sponsored by yolissa's hair all the hair details will be in the description box down below thank you yolissa hair for sponsoring this video um this is the wig that they sent me it is a water wave like 30 i think this is 30 inches if not it's probably like 28 as you're gonna tell super super pretty water wave beachy vibes y'all <sighs> okay yeah and this wig is glueless i did this wig completely glueless i did not do any glue i didn't use any wig glue i literally just used spray and um some gel um, but if you're new here make sure to subscribe to my channel we try to get to we really try to get to, we on the road to 100k okay let's just be honest but right now we try to get to 50 so make sure you subscribe to my channel and also remember all of the hair details will be in the description box down below and yeah okay let's see how i did this tutorial hey y'all hey home girl <laughs> Y'all, I literally think I'm probably going to start calling y'all my homegirls because at this point, y'all my homegirls. Like, but anyway, let's get into this video. So, as you can tell, I am just showing y'all what this wig looks like before anything was done with it. As you can tell, you can see it was pretty bad. I had to pluck some, you know, it was just, it, need, it wasn't given. It wasn't given. So, we're going to basically pluck this wig, fix it up. Now, I did actually try to put this wig on um and that's why you can tell that the lace is cut this was a brand new wig y'all this is my second time trying to film this and when i did film it um it was all messed up and stuff y'all so i basically refilmed it and yeah this is why the lace was cut because i just did not want to put that up because the wig just looked crazy so i went in and decided to pluck more so um so yeah, that's basically what I'm doing here. And y'all, please keep in mind that I have not had a wig on or did a wig or customized a wig since like for two months. Like for two months, I have not had a wig on or did a wig or wore a wig almost two months, but it's been a while. It's been a while. So I'm just starting to get back into things, but um, but yeah, so that's why I decided to go back in, pluck some more, and redo this video. And please do not mind the baby hairs. I did kind of put out too much hair for the baby hairs because I really wanted that messy, like, really pretty curly baby hairs that's, like, going on right now. Um, so if it seems like a lot of baby hairs, don't worry because when I put on the wig, I do push some hair back because it was a lot. turned out i think it turned out really really good i did also have the knots bleached so um yeah and look how pretty and long this hair is y'all this hair is really really nice i love this curl and i'm definitely gonna wear this um again i'm gonna do this method again because it was just so good like i love this curly hair <laughs> All right, y'all, so now to the install. I'm gonna start by pushing back my baby hairs. I do this all the time. Whether this is gonna be glueless or gluing down a wig, I always push back my baby hairs just because I don't want anything, you know, on my baby hairs. I don't want anything on my hair. So I just always push them back. And then I'm going to get a cap, a wig cap. And this actually came from um, Yolissa's hair package. So thank you, Yolissa's hair, for giving me this wig cap. And I'm going to just basically stretch it out just because it would be a little bit tight. So I like to stretch out my wig caps and then I will put it on. And of course, for a flat install, always braid your hair. Now I'm going to get my bronzer 
um, or contour palette and just put some of my makeup on my cap. Even though this is a tint brown, I like to always put my makeup on my cap and my lace because it just looks the best. Like it looks more natural, um, you know, and it just looks better than just leaving it plain. So I always do that again, whether it's glueless or non glueless. But here is the hair, and this is what the lace is looking like. This is the most important part to make your wig glueless. I'm going to take those two straps from the wig, and I'm going to cross them over into that little third loop next to the comb. And this part just makes sure that the wig is tight enough because sometimes, um, I don't know, I think this wig cap was like, a size a little big like maybe a medium so next time I know get a small I made sure I cross those two strings because it can just give the wig a tighter fit and that way that's the best when it's glueless is just make sure that your wig is tight enough so it doesn't like slip off your head or just move around um, but obviously not too tight where like you would have a headache so so I put on the wig and basically I'm just trying to see where everything fits seeing where I want my baby hairs to be how much hair just you know planning everything out before I you know finally cut the baby hairs and stuff and I started to cut off some more lace so I wanted to cut off extra lace because the first time I did it it was just too much lace and like I said you know I haven't worn a wig in so long y'all so it was just about trial and error again okay <laughs> but I did cut off a lot more lace than before so with the sides I'm going to basically gel them down this is kind of like another key for a glueless install since this wig was a little bit big I wanted to gel down the sides so they could be a little bit more secure and the wig could be a little bit more secure so I took my got to be gel and I just placed that on the two sides where my ear is at and gelled them down and I also took some melting spray and I sprayed that down as well that's just an extra spray to keep everything in place you don't really have to get this you guys can just do the got to be and be fine with it but I decided to add the melting spray just to give a little bit more hold but remember none of this is glue so you will be able to take off your wig at night you can literally wet like wash this off with water in the shower shampoo whatever you want um, none of this is glue so you don't have to worry about it staying in your hair or you you know you can't take it off you can take this off put this back on you can do the same method and yeah so I basically did that I pressed down the lace you know I always fan it like I never really <laughs> use the blow dryer but y'all can use the blow dryer if y'all are rushing or anything because the blow dryer will definitely um, take less time press everything down and then I'm going to um, use a scarf and like lay down my edges So now onto the baby hairs. Um, as y'all can tell, I did push some of them back because like I said, it was too much hair and I didn't want a lot of hair. Like I was, it was too much hair. So I decided to push some of them back and I was cutting my baby hairs just to see how long I wanted them to be. Um, and like I said, for this part, this is really customizable and it's really up to to you how you want your baby hairs how long how much hair you know you decide how you like it like I said I was trying to do like the little messy curly baby hairs but um this whole video I'm gonna be switching up my baby hairs it's not the final look as you can tell so play around with it you know see what you like and it's just all about trial and error <laughs> This is the before and after kind of what I got done. 
um like I said I'm still fixing it but I liked how it came out you know it looked a little bit like just natural and cute but I'm definitely gonna be keep playing around my edges this whole video so don't even worry about that but I love the lace do y'all see it period and okay period makeup done edges laid let's get to styling okay that i'm still going in and playing with these baby hairs but baby look at them yes okay because i was proud honey but i was still playing around with that side because that side didn't look as good as my other side but it's okay but after you have figured out your edges and now you can style it you can wet the hair you can do a side part you can do a middle part you can do anything you want with this hair that's why i love curly hair because you can wet it you can leave it just its natural state um you can really do anything i kept it as a middle part um and i showed you also a side part but baby look at this lace honey the lace is just my color okay and this wig was also transparent lace it was not hd okay but as you can tell you can put it up i left the middle part with you know the hair just over my ear and i loved it so this is the end of the video you can style it any way you want make sure you check out this hair in the description box down below you'll list its hair and uh, yeah i mean tell me what you think about it in the comments make sure you like comment and subscribe okay and that's it i'll see you in my next video love y'all